Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I will be solving a fluid mechanics and hydraulics question similar to one that you may encounter on the FE exam. This question was supplied by Jeter Jimenez, EIT, an environmental engineer. Jeter received a Bachelor of Engineering in Earth System Science and Environmental Engineering from the City College of New York, Grove School of Engineering in 2017. Thanks Jeter for supplying this problem. All right, let's jump right into it. An eight foot wide rectangular channel carries a flow of 400 cubic feet per second and an initial depth of 2.1 feet before entering a jump. The sequent depth in feet at the low velocity flow or subcritical is most nearly, and then of course you have four possible answers. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky question, so I'm going to walk through it here step by step, but if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, and we'll try to get back to you either through the comments myself or Jeter, who created this problem. Now, for an explanation, the sequent or conjugate depth is the depth downstream the subcritical flow. A subcritical flow corresponds to a fruit number known as FR less than one. The equation to find the critical depth for a rectangular channel, which you can find in your FE reference handbook in the open channel flow section, is YC, which of course is the critical depth, equals lowercase q, which is the unit discharge, which is calculated by uppercase Q over uppercase B, the Q there being the discharge, and the uppercase B is the channel width. The lowercase g in the critical depth equation is the acceleration due to gravity. So in this problem statement, we were given the following, the flow of 400 cubic feet per second, the channel width at eight feet, and the critical depth at one foot deep. And we're assuming that that's super critical flow, and that depth is 2.1 feet. Again, these are all given in the problem statement. So you can calculate the velocity using what was given, and you will get 23.81 feet per second. The critical depth can then also be calculated using the equation that we just went over that you saw on the previous slide. And of course, that capital Q in the top there is, I'm sorry, the lowercase Q is the capital Q over B. So 400 over eight, which is how you arrive at this 50 right here. Then of course you have gravity below and you do your calculation, and you come up with 4.27 feet. You can then take everything you have, and you can plug it in and solve the fruit number, which is 2.89, which is greater than one, which is super critical flow. Now, the flow depth at subcritical flow, which is what they're asking for, can be computed using the hydraulic jump equation. Now, we did that last step because you need the fruit number for this equation here. And you can see the equation here laid out for you. Now we have all this information, right? We have Y1 of 2.1 that was given to us in the statement. And we have the fruit number that we calculated just on the last slide of 2.89. And by plugging all those in, you come up with your answer of 7.60 feet. So there you have it. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. If you'd like to submit a problem, leave a comment below, we'll use your problem, and we'll credit you. Past the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks including practice problem solutions like this one weekly to ensure you pass the FE exam. And I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below and I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next time on Pass the FE exam.